Here we are. Okay, like I said, we're at the last stage. Uh, so, I've upgraded to two canister filters. Okay, I custom made them. Here's the piping. Okay. There's the custom waterfall. By now you'll probably already have seen how I made the custom waterfall uh, on my previous videos. So this is what it looks like. There's two canister filters that I connected. Okay. The piping goes in through the top. Okay. In here, I adjusted the PVC outlet in order to make it into a vortex effect. So it comes in through the top. It has a vortex, which it's better. It goes in through the spongies. Okay. So then it, it connects through the middle part, which is on the bottom. Let me give you a better view this way. Okay. The connecting. Then it comes out through here. Uh, the second canister filter is full of gravel rock and some polyester so in order to polish the water okay so that's the setup now let's go around let's go around uh, let me show you this okay so we finally got the outlet going this is what it looks like okay so we got four additional outlets one cable coming out from the PVC okay so we secured it with some uh, brackets it's going through the PVC as you already know on a previous video okay we're gonna take it underground we take it all the way down thirty five feet to the pond so the pond is filled let me give you a, a closer look to the, the waterfall and the decorations that we made, okay? We have this solar lamps that I placed all around. So we have three major logs that I put inside the pond in order to, forget to give the turtles access to their basking areas. As you can see, it's one, two, Three. This as well is going to give them cover for the fish and the turtles. At the bottom, I made a bridge. So there's another log in the middle or at the bottom. Correction, at the bottom. And then there's one on top, which makes it a bridge, which gives through the bottom, gives a cave. So it's a tunnel. There's three tunnels. So there's one, there's two. And there's three tunnels for the turtles and the fish to go underneath, just to have some cover. Um, again, uh, we decorated each border of the pond from the inside now with some fake plants. Aesthetically, I think it looks awesome. Okay, so 
a lot of effort into the decorating but it's coming out amazing it's, it's really good I'm very happy with it um, thank you to the parents who donated uh, plenty of the scrubbies for the filters and as well as the, the pebble rock that now you can see I added some pebble rock I added some pebble rock to the, the, the plants some great uh, log pieces part of the logs that came they're old rusty they look beautiful aesthetically so yeah it's coming through um, I guess we just have to let it cycle the water now the pumps gonna be on uh, I'm gonna let it filter the water cycle the water once it becomes nice and clear then I'll test it and see if it's ready to allow some fish into the pond so I have the fish in quarantine already at home so I've had them for a week so it's good healthy fish means healthy pond so uh, we got a plus on that one as well so again let me give you a walk through let's give you the front view so this is the front view of the pond okay of course things gonna be this is gonna be down of course have it open just because uh there's little minor adjustments I had to make I had a couple of leaks in the in the filter you know it's, it's a learning process as you go then you see there's a little leak you gotta fix it you gotta stop fix that leak go again then a second leak up here it's very minor but you gotta fix those minor leaks okay before they turn bad okay so you you make your adjustments you repair the minor leaks give it time to uh, seal plenty I give it a hold 24 hours for it to seal we're back at it here now it's on I got no leaks whatsoever the waterfall is running the filter is filtrating the water is cycling so we start the cycling stage now okay uh, another thing I wanted to show you Oops, sorry <laughs> okay as you can see I did a pulley system right here I hope you can see it so there's three extensions that connect to the lid one on the left one on the right and one in the center which allow me to bring it up evenly uh, as well as they all connect to the center piece right here okay now as you can see I, I have it here it runs runs to this right here this pole which is just the safety just just to have it let's see uh, it's hard to do it with one hand, sorry. Come on. Alright, we got it out. So let's bring it down. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Boom, nice and steady. Okay. Boom. Now, every corner, again, the right the left have these stops right here I don't know if you can see right yeah right there which is gonna connect evenly with the lid you see so it fits right in the corner okay same with the one on this side right here okay so we're gonna match it okay there's one cable coming out through here there's another cable in the center And there's a third cable here okay now 
again there's a stop here as you can see so we're just when it closes we just gotta make sure have a handle there we go it's in it's secure it's secure now so again I have a dual locking system oh, it's a little off I'm gonna have to readjust it because okay so I can't do it with just one hand I have to pull it down with both hands and then lock them up but there's two locks for safety again so that's what the pond looks like now I think it came out amazing uh, now we just again we gotta wait for the cycle water to clean the water make it clear then I'm gonna check the perimeters to make sure it's safe for the turtles and the fish to go in. Then we'll put the fish in, then the turtles, and we'll be finished. We'll have the grand opening for the school to open the pond to the public and to the kids, and the project will be finished. Um, I'm very proud of myself. I thank you for following the build. I hope you're enjoying my videos. I know recording kind of sucks sometimes, and uh, they're short sometimes they're long I don't know whether you prefer the short or long but um, I thank you for following the bill I hope you're enjoying it if you have any questions you can write me a message I'll reply I'm really good at replying hit like subscribe thank you for following